What's up guys, in this video I want to show you how to jailbreak iOS 8.0 to 8.1 with this untethered jailbreak. Now this jailbreak is only for Windows and a Mac version will be out but not in the near future. This jailbreak also does not include Cydia and you'll have to manually install Cydia via OpenSSH so you will need a wireless connection. But you don't need a Windows computer to install Cydia. Uh, this jailbreak also uh, will support all devices including iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, pretty much any device that supports iOS 8 to 8.1. So let's go ahead and get started on what we need to do. So the first step we need to do is make sure that our iDevice is on the latest iOS 8 firmware. Now even though it does support 8.0, it is strongly recommended that you go up to the latest firmware, which currently right now is 8.1. Can't, can't really see it, but it does say 8.1 like so. So second step is you want to make sure that Touch ID and passcode is turned off. The jailbreak will not work if you have any one of these on. So once you have that, step number three is to make sure that Find My iPhone is off. I went the extra mile and signed out of my iCloud account. So once all those three has been pretty much checked, you can go ahead and lay your iDevice down and make sure it's connected to your computer. Now you're Alright, on your computer you're going to need five things. Pangu, uh, the latest version of iTunes, an OpenSSH tool, and two CDO files, which will all be in the video description below. But once you have Pangu opened up, make sure that the PP check mark box is unchecked. After that, you can pretty much click on the blue button and let the process take over. Now this takes a lot of time, so um, don't do anything that might uh, cause the iPhone to turn off. So it's recommended that you pretty much put the auto lock at never. So eventually it's going to reboot by itself, you're going to have iTunes popping up, you can go ahead and close that. And then once it's done uh, rebooting, you're going to get the welcome screen. Just simply go through that process. Alright, so once you're finally in your home screen, you're going to go ahead and swipe till you see a new app on your iDevice, which is the new Pangu app, as you can see there. So go ahead and tap on it, and you're going to get this welcome screen. So go ahead and tap on OpenSSH, which is the tool we're going to use to install Cydia. So in the top right corner, you're going to see Install. Just go ahead and tap on that. Wait for it to install, and then at the very bottom, it should say OK. All right. Once you do that, you want to go into Settings. Go to your Wi-Fi network. And then tap on the little eye icon for info, and you're going to write down your IP address. You can't really see it on my phone, but you're going to need that for your OpenSSH tool on your computer. So once you have that IP address, we're going to go ahead and go back to our computer. Alright, on our computer, we're going to go ahead and open up your OpenSSH tool. I'm using WinSCP because I've used it before. So for your host name, you're going to put in your IP address that was on your iPhone. And then the host should be root. And then the password should be alpine. I uh, said host, it should be username. So username is going to be root, all lowercase, or OOT. And the password is going to be alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, all in lowercase. Now, if you do have trouble trying to uh, log in, you can just simply turn on airplane mode on and off. And then connect to your Wi-Fi network and try again. That's how I got mine to work. So you might get some pop-ups, you can even press update or press yes, and it's going to let you in for your OpenSSH tool. Alright, so you're going to get this window, depending on what um, OpenSSH tool you're using. The left side of my screen is the Windows, the right side is going to be my iPhone. You saw a drop-down menu, you want to make sure that you're all the way in root. And then go to your desktop on your left side window. And you're going to pretty much just drag and drop the two CDO files onto the root directory of your iPhone. Alright, once that's done, you're going to go ahead and pretty much control T on your keyboard. And that's going to open up the terminal for your OpenSSH tool. Alright, like so. Now there's going to be a command that's going to be in the video description below. And what you're going to do is pretty much paste that command on your... Uh, terminal. Once you do that, you're pretty much done on your computer side. We can go back to our iPhone. 
All right. So in our iPhone, you're gonna see nothing has changed. So what you're gonna do now is gonna reboot your iPhone manually. So you're gonna go ahead and turn off your iPhone and turn it back on. All right. So when you turn it back on, you should have Cydia on your home screen. Then after that, you should have your um, pairing file system like normal. Now currently there are no tweaks available for iOS 8 considering this just uh, came out, the jailbreak I mean. So give it a little bit more time and then wait for developers to update their tweaks. But besides that, that's pretty much it to it and that's all you gotta do for your jailbreak. It's pretty easy, it's kinda complicated though, but. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please click the like button. If you have any more questions, post a comment. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thanks.